He is known for his significant contributions as a Kenyan-British paleoanthropologist and archaeologist, highlighting that humans evolved in Africa through discoveries made at Oldaway Gorge. He is recognized for establishing a program of paleoanthropological inquiry in Eastern Africa, inspiring future generations to continue this scholarly work. His name is Louis Leakey. In the world of paleoanthropology, one name stands out, Louis Seymour Bazette Leakey, a Kenyan-British scientist whose groundbreaking work revolutionized our understanding of human evolution. With his wife Mary Leakey by his side, he embarked on a remarkable journey of discovery at the iconic Oldaway Gorge in Africa. It was here that they unearthed crucial evidence demonstrating that humans evolved in Africa. Their findings shattered long-held beliefs and paved the way for a new era of scientific inquiry. But Leakey's impact extended far beyond his own discoveries. He was a passionate advocate for field research, recognizing the importance of studying primates in their natural habitats. He mentored and supported three remarkable female researchers, Jane Goodall, Jan Fossey, and Byrut Galdikas, whom he affectionately called the Trimates. These women would go on to make their own invaluable contributions to the field of primatology, forever changing our understanding of our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. Leakey's influence also reached beyond the realm of scientific research. He played a vital role in establishing organizations dedicated to furthering research in Africa and protecting its precious wildlife. His commitment to nurturing future generations of scholars and his unwavering dedication to the preservation of the natural world continue to inspire and guide scientists and conservationists to this day. Louis Seymour Bazette Leakey's legacy is a testament to the power of curiosity, perseverance, and the profound impact one individual can have on our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In the early 1950s, Lewis and Mary embarked on a groundbreaking research project at Oldaway Gorge. They began with a trial excavation in 1951, followed by a more extensive one in 1952. What they uncovered was truly extraordinary, a site Lewis referred to as an Oldowan slaughterhouse. It was a bog where ancient animals had been trapped and butchered, providing valuable insights into early human behavior. Excavations temporarily halted in 1953 but were resumed in 1955 with the help of Jean Brown. However, it wasn't until 1959 that the Rayal breakthrough occurred. While Lewis was unwell at the camp, Mary made a remarkable discovery, a fossilized skull known as OH5 at FLK. This skull belonged to Paranthropus Boise, famously known as Zinjanthropus or Zinj. There was a debate about whether it belonged to the same genus as Robert Broom's Paranthropus or a different genus related to humans. Lewis favored the name Zinjanthropus, a decision that caught the attention of Melville Bell Grosvenor, the president of the National Geographic Society. This led to an article in National Geographic and a substantial grant for further research. In 1960, geophysicists Jack Avernden and Garnus Curtis dated Bed I, where the discoveries were made, to be around 1.89 to 1.75 million years old. This confirmed the immense antiquity of fossil hominids in Africa and shed new light on our understanding of human evolution. Lewis appointed Mary as the director of excavation at Oldaway in 1960. She assembled a team of Kamba assistants, including Kamoya Kinyan, who would later make many significant fossil discoveries in Eastern Africa. Mary established Camp 5 and began her work with her team and colleagues. At Johnny's site, FLKNN, Jonathan Leakey made an exciting find, a couple of skull fragments without the Australopithecine sagittal crest. Mary connected these fragments with the Telanthropus discoveries of Broom and Robinson. However, the challenge was that they seemed to be contemporaneous with Zinjanthropus. When Lewis sent photographs to Wilfred Lugro Clark, he casually remarked, shades of Piltdown. Lewis quickly responded and expressed his displeasure at the suggestion of his incompetence. Clark later apologized for his comment. In 1960, Lewis, his son Philip, and Ray Pickering made another significant discovery, a fossil referred to as, Chilean Man. It was found alongside Oldowan tools and was later identified as Homo erectus, dating back 1.4 million years. After reconstruction, Lewis and Mary affectionately called it, Pinhead. In 1961, Lewis secured a salary and grant from the National Geographic Society, allowing him to establish the Center for Prehistory and Paleontology at Oldaway. He moved his collections there and became the director. This became his new base of operations. He also initiated another excavation at Fort Ternan on Lake Victoria. During this time, Heselin discovered Kenyapithecus wickeri, named after the property owner. Lewis celebrated this finding with George Gaylord Simpson aboard the Miocene Lady, with a special drink called Leaky Safari Specials, made from condensed milk and cognac. In 1962, while visiting Oldaway, Lewis received news of another momentous discovery. Ndibo Mbwika found the first tooth of Homo habilis at MNK. 
Louis and Mary believed it belonged to a female and affectionately named her Cinderella, or Cindy. Philip Tobias identified Johnny's child with this tooth, and at Louis's request, Raymond Dart coined the name Homo habilis, which Tobias translated as handyman. This fossil was seen as an intermediary between Grassel Australopithecus and Homo, further illuminating the path of human evolution. Louis Leakey's work at Oldaway Gorge not only unearthed remarkable fossils but also revolutionized our understanding of human origins. His discoveries, alongside Mary's invaluable contributions, laid the foundation for future research and continue to shape our knowledge of our ancient ancestors. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.